I'd be more alarmed if I saw how much copious blood comes out of my face in that situation. Also, I think I've lost track of Napoleon at this point. My friends, the conference is about to begin. Please excuse me if I troubled you last night with my project. I understand that you might well have a few questions to ask. As you know, the final vote will be cast in a few days. This morning's aim is to answer your questions and check the temperature of your respective positions so that we may reach a greater understanding. As always, Lord Mortimer. Uh, we parted in perfect disagreement, my lord. Where would you like us to take it from? Come, sir. Please let William believe he still has a chance of winning us over. Otherwise, his imprecations will lack panache, and we shall be bored stiff. Oh, let me reassure you. I am convinced that a good night's sleep has brought sound advice, and that this morning will be even more interesting. Therefore, I would like to go around the table in order to hear everyone's first impressions. Well, I am still firmly against it, even though my choice won't count. Against. 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 And you, Luke Manuel? Against, of course. Well, as for me, I am for Lord Mortimer's project. Despite Duchesse Hillsborough's overwhelmingly convincing nocturnal attentions. What? So Emily was playing at trying to win over guests last night? It was nothing more than a friendly little chat, of course. How could it be otherwise? And by the way, remember me to your husband when you see him. And you, President Washington, what is your position? Well, you see, Monsieur Bonaparte, I would rather you'd have forgotten me for a minute. William, I am sorry, but I cannot follow you this time. George? What? I am against William. Please excuse me. I cannot commit the United States to such an enterprise. It's just too risky. Well... That leaves just yourself and Monsieur Peru, Louis. You're all making me sick. Look at yourselves. What? You are pathetic! Have you been drinking or what? There you are, quibbling away. My Lord Duke this, and Madame Duchesse that. You know very well that we're nothing but puppets on a damn string. Jacques, really? Let's end the charade. It's over! Jacques. My Lord, thank you for everything you've done for me over the years. But it didn't come for free. And now I see the price is too high to pay. I'll stop. Come, Jacques, we'll talk it over. No, I'm finished. I want my freedom back, my lord. I shall no longer work for you. What the fuck is going on with you? Has he been like outright like brainwashed or something? Is that why he's so freaking out all the time? God damn. Also, are you that... Just a, sec just a second here. Are you that shocked that Emily was trying to convince people to do... To go against? Even though, you know... You did that? Wait! Derise! You just can't help it, can you? Stop trying to play the hero, man! You don't want to, if, I mean, if you want to die so bad, just, you can literally just pull the trigger, like, right now, and it's, like, you can literally stop me from talking you out of it if it's that much of a problem. God damn, though. Uh, it's Jacques Peru, right? Yeah. He's vulnerable to etiquette and psychology. Psychology. Diversion. Monsieur, I know I don't really know you, but you seem like a decent person. I have done so many horrible things! You blame yourself, I can see that. Everything's not lost. I don't want to do bad things anymore. What? Uh, how did it disconnect? No, it didn't. What? No, it's connected. Uh. <laughs> Welp. Uh. <laughs> What do I do about this? It just stops on the on the uh, alt tab maybe, and then come back or something. Am I am I just screwed right now? You 
can take there control of yourself again. You can fix whatever it is you've done. Do you really believe that? Of course, Jack. You'll have all the time you need. Okay, the gamepad. Okay. Gamepad stopped working somehow. Oh, here we go. Now, now it's back somehow. I don't know what happened there. It's fine. A uh, little distracted. Let's go back to this again. Vulnerability and etiquette. Uh, no, sorry. Etiquette and psychology. Okay. This is logic, conviction. This is definitely a time to be thinking about using Devil Thorn because the consequence is his dying. And if I if I mess up, he'll die, he uh, he dies. Your daughter has nothing to fear. Ah. I'm sure we can work things out. But you don't know him. Let's stay united, Jack. He's nothing without us. Mm, really? Trust me. This is not who you are. You're better than that. You don't know me. Yes, I do. I know you're no coward, so give me your weapon, please. But There's I... There's nothing to fear. I'm right here. I don't want him to talk to me. Don't worry. You're safe now, Jack. Monsieur Peru, you could have seriously hurt someone if Monsieur de Richet here hadn't stopped you. Your behavior is unacceptable. You would do better to go and rest in your apartment. My friends, we shall continue the conference later. I would like to apologize for the inexcusable behavior of my guest. We all need to recover from all of this excitement. Take the rest of the day off. Well, that was creepy. I think that he might be mind controlled and required to do whatever that guy says, period. I could have found out Jacques Peru's secret. I could have followed Lord Mortimer. Oh well, yeah, that was just the choice of going to one or the other. Yeah, these are all binary choices. So I didn't miss anything. I think. I think these were choices of one or the other. So I have convinced George Washington. I saved Jacques Peru. I slept with Lady Hillsborough. <laughs> sure, just add that to the list. I chose to follow Sir Gregory home. I found out Lord, Lord Mortimer has a role in the rise of Napoleon Bonaparte. I found out that Sir Gregory Holm von, and Von Volner have chosen have close ties. I reassure Sarah de Richet. I participated in the conference. Okay. Hmm. I wonder if you find Jacques Peru's secrets if he dies, which... I don't know how badly you want a secret if he dies at any way at that point. Or maybe I really did miss something while I was exploring his room. Or maybe previous decisions affected whether or not he would talk to me in that scene. Got a level. We have four points we can spend. Could go further down conviction if I want. Whenever I get an option that actually levels something, it's definitely tempting takes so many points to get these things up to three. Let's see, I can go erudition, questioning, questioning, occultism, agility. Okay, politics. So no etiquette and no conviction. I was thinking like maybe I'll put two points in conviction, two points in etiquette uh, under the under the guise of hey maybe conviction will have a, I like have a book for it or something. I don't. I don't have a book for that, unfortunately. Hmm. I'm trying to get as many things to level three, uh, level two as I can, just because it has such an impact, and also because the severe diminishing returns. It takes so long to get to, to level three from two. That it seems almost not worth it. So far no one's died. Well, except that one guy down underground. 
veteran talent unlocked. Ooh, getting level 10 also gives you another effort point. Okay. Also on trait, I got savior. One point in psychology for saving Peru. And then getting George Washington to change sides gives you a point of politics. Reassuring Sarah gives you a point in occultism. A lot going on here. That makes no sense at all. I don't understand. I spoke to him only recently. Monsieur Peru has lost his mind. It's obvious. Yet another way for the French to make a spectacle of themselves. Well, once again, it has worked. My friends, let us settle down, please. We are all in shock, of course. Let us celebrate Louis's courage. He enabled us to avert a tragedy. Yes, that was very noble of you, Louis. You have given us all a fine lesson in courage. I... thank you. He owes you his life. That's quite something. That madman deserves to die. We are providing Monsieur Peru with care, but rest assured, he is no longer a danger to himself or anyone else. I think everyone needs a little rest. Can you stay a moment? Of course. Oh, now, now we're doing this? Why? What? Why, why, why are we, this is weird, we're like, separating out these moments of leveling up. Alright, that guy's an idiot, or an asshole. Volner? Like, somebody, tr somebody is, uh, is suicidal, and he's like, that madman deserves to die! I'm like, what are you, some kind of asshole? Like, what, what's, why, what's wrong with you? I'm gonna focus on anything that, that, uh, is not level 3 yet, so, agility is one thing. Let's see, questioning... Questioning could be good, right? Yeah. That would get me most of the way there. Erudition, politics. Let's see. Politics is not that high up. Erudition's one of these, right? Yeah. So no, no priority there. And so you'll be poised to hit next level uh, next time. Politics and agility are pretty equal. Although, uh, although, agility is more of a exploring skill and politics is more of a during conversation skill. So I'm, I kind of want to give that higher priority. There we go. That madman deserves to die. I'm an asshole. Louis, I wanted to thank you personally. I admire what you did to save Monsieur Peru's life. You have given us all a wonderful lesson in courage. Don't mention it, my lord. You would have done the same. I was just quicker. Ah, humility is a fine quality, sir. Where is he now? In his room. I've sedated him. I don't want him trying to take his life again. Or worse yet, attacking one of the guests. When in despair, Monsieur Peru is clearly a dangerous man. Why does he even get to have a gun? Why does anyone have a gun right now? It just seems like a bad plan. I don't, I don't know you very well, Mr. Mortimer. What do I know about you? Immune to conviction and science. No vulnerabilities found. And that's psychology. Tell me, my lord. Can you think of any reason why he would be so terrified of you? Terrified? Come now, that's a bit harsh. I think he was simply unable to put things into perspective. I see no reason to fear me. Ask President Washington. I don't believe I'm such a difficult friend. Having spoken to him, I can assure you that he feared you even more than death itself. Had he disappointed you in any way recently? Of course, he was on the edge. He was desperate and it grew noticeable in his work. Our collaboration was probably coming to an end, but I certainly didn't feel the need to threaten him, ever. But without you, no more support, no more money. It was an end to his social status. If you lost, he lost everything, didn't he? No, not his life. Thanks to me, I guess. On that note, my lord, I'll be leaving you. 
Have we covered everything? Absolutely. Oh, Louis, uh, one more thing, please. What a pity you didn't support me during the conference. I hope I can count on you on the day of the vote. This major project needs men like you, Louis. And you never know, right? Maybe by then, I'll see things differently. Well, thank you for allowing me to believe in that possibility, Louis. From here on, I shall make it my mission to persuade you to change your vote. Be my guest. But I hope your arguments are very, very persuasive, because I'm not the only one who isn't on your side. Oh, rest assured, I am working on it. Very well, then. I'll see you later, my lord. Yeah, I'm definitely not the only one that's not on his side. That's why I found it kind of strange that he doesn't pose any kind of- he doesn't make any effort to convince me. The conferences aren't the most active thing, I just- isn't this the time to try to convince me? Right now? When we're actively trying to, you know, run our own right now, unless you want to- would you rather not make any progress? Have you considered that you're losing ground because other people are actively convincing people to switch sides and you're not? Also, I'm kind of happy I'm not on your side so far because you see I'm kind of convinced that there's some occult shit going on where you're like actually mind controlling that guy and that's why he's so freaking out. I'll see you later, Louis. I also like the line of like have we have we that the the weird transitions the dialogue was having. Devil's thorn. Yay, Devil's Thorn. Where they were like, uh and with that I will take my leave. Have we covered everything? Absolutely. Oh wait, one more thing, but only after the game like faded to black and then faded back in, like it's trying to figure out which modular things to mix together. Dante's Purgatory. Why does your mind presume to flight when you're still like the imperfect grub, the worm before it's attained its final form? Charming. This is not even my final form. Why is he so into Dante's everything? But he has at least three different uh Dante books. Also that hole? The creepy hole's gonna come up in the story, right? At some point? I feel like someone's gonna walk straight, straight in there and die. Also, look at this asshole. The only way onto this floor is this staircase that points directly into this hole. The clearance isn't even that wide. Like, you kind of have to shimmy around the hole to get into the room. And this is- this is a death. Like, that is not a- that's not a- oops, I tripped. That's like a- you die if you fall in that hole. And it's right here at the top of the stairs. I try to imagine like the servants pushing around like carts or whatever. I guess they wouldn't push carts up the stairs though anyway. But like the clearance is garbage. You should be super worried about that. Uh, I should at least go to Peru's room, right? I should probably peruse around, huh? It's tempting to go to every single room again because another day has passed. I offer you to someone else. Impossible to tell with you people. Yes, sir. Your yes is not sufficient. Tell the others for crying out loud. Remember to close my window once you've done my room. This isn't Corsica, you know. I'm freezing. Of course, sir. I'll see to it straight away. Good. Proceed. Yes, sir. Napoleon, the yelling is unnecessary. Monsieur Bonaparte. Sorry, Dorichi. I have no time for traitors such as yourself. I beg your pardon? If you are here, it's because Lord Mortimer agreed to include you. And what's the first thing that you do? You betray him by following Sir Gregory and bending over backwards to turn Washington against him. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought I was free to vote as I pleased. I didn't realize I had to vote for Lord Mortimer in order to show my gratitude toward him. Hey, he invited me here to come and look for my missing mother during his high society party. I'm sorry. Truly sorry. I don't know all your customs yet. It's just common decency that when invited to a man's castle, you don't go and to pee on his boots. Is it too much to ask? I guess it is. Okay, so we're just yelling at each other now. That's just a thing we do. Alright. The French people are all gonna get along great today. All three of us are afraid. Also, fuck you? What the fuck? It's a vote. It's literally not a vote if you're like, hey, I'm the host, so I win. <laughs> like, I hosted the party this vote takes place at, therefore, everyone has to vote my way now. That literally doesn't make any sense. And, like, 
it's actually baffling how much it just doesn't make any sense. All of us are guests here. Everyone. But the vote is still a vote? What the, what, what? Sorry, sir, but you cannot go through. We have very clear instructions from Lord Mortimer. Monsieur Peru must rest. Well, that was the creepiest shit. Oh, it just like materializes out of the door. Oh, that's really creepy. Napoleon Bonaparte. I'm gonna yell at you more. We got all asshole. Where are you at? Carmelite water. Yeah. You said that if you drink this, it gives you a real boost. I can grab the stuff again now. My dearest son, I'm writing to implore you to act quickly. We've done that one already. Buy corn decorated with a cockade. It must belong to a French soldier. It'd be kind of funny if they were yelling at me because I. What if what if they were yelling at the servant because I left the door open when I came through? But no, I think the reason why they were. Had, I think the whole reason for that scene of him being testy with them, while being a bit of role, a little bit of setup for the idea of him being from Corsica and everything, which also, by the way, he's in here, right? He's in this other room right now. That's why I can't find him, because I can't open the door right now. Uh, I think they're setting up the fact that that's a back door I can take into Peru's area. I can peruse that direction. Oh, unless that door's- wait, is that door not gonna open? Really? What? Really? Maybe that- uh, maybe we can try the next room over? Really? I was certain that's the whole reason they had Napoleon have a spectacle outside, was to set up the idea that you can use Napoleon's room to get to Peru's room. And yet here we are. This is... Hillsborough. Really? That's like the last person I haven't been to besides, I think that's Piagi's room? No answer. Nothing. Emily? Emily, are you there? Emily! Yes. Louis, is that you? Yes, let me in. I- I'm sorry, Louis. I don't feel very well. I'll see you later. Are you sure everything's all right? Are you still there? What's going on over here? Huh? The long silence. No, oh, you can't. You can't just open the door. Something's going on in there. Now I'm curious. Is it Godoy home? Monsieur de Richie, I have no time. I was about to join Sir Gregory. Come back later. I wanted to talk to you a moment. And I am expected. I'm sorry. We shall talk later. He seems nice. Okay, so now all right, this is this is addressing what I was talking about yesterday, which is that where the hell are there all the characters? Suddenly, every single character is here today. That's weird, right? How yesterday nobody existed, and now every single person is somewhere doing something. Can never go to Piagi's room. Not even in a knock. You can't even, like, just say, Hey, what's up? You home? I think, I think Piagi and Emily are, like, the only rooms left I haven't explored. Or even been to, or invited to. Is Washington in here? Washington is not currently home. Let's see. Does he... They do... Ooh, I can go out here now. I think I've never been here before. Not on the map, at least. Ooh, I've never been here before. We're full up on Elixir. Now this could be useful. Back doors into places. Why... Why is this balcony not on the map, though? The other one is. This one's not on the map. So the, the element of, like, which doors go where is kind of unaccounted for a little bit. This takes me to the Prussian King. 
von Volner. Congratulations, Monsieur de Richet. You made the right decision at the conference. What can I do for you? Do you have any news regarding your search for the Al-Azif? Ah, good. You are straight to the point this time. I appreciate that. I shall allow myself to reply only because we are now on the same side. But keep it to yourself. My search is over. <laughs> we have it. Congratulations, you, you were quicker than me. Oh, don't blame yourself. You had no chance of getting the better of Sir Gregory. Well, at least I tried. So, tell me, where did you find it? Would you believe that your mother gave it to Emily's twin sister before we arrived on the island? Apparently she asked her to hide it and once she had done so, your mother intended to kill her. But Emma, Emily's sister survived. So Gregory realized this and hid her in his apartment to tend to her uh, without anyone knowing. When she came around, Emma rallied to Sir Gregory and told him where the Al Azif was. And uh, <laughs> that was it. That's uh, one good thing uh, done and dusted. <laughs> Is anything wrong? Oh, well, uh, if I were you, Louis, I would be careful. Emma is still alive, and when your mother turns up, I wouldn't be surprised if she considers she has a score to settle with her. You're right. It's quite probable. I think that Sir Gregory will do all he can to calm the situation down, but there's no guaranteeing that she won't find a way of taking her revenge on your mother. However, uh, keep it to yourself. Hmm? Hmm? We never spoke to each other. Thank you for this information, sir. Oh, don't mention it, Louis. It's natural. We are playing on the same side now. <laughs> you can always count on me. On that note, I don't want to take up any more of your time. Oh, not at all, Louis. Come back whenever you want. I'll see you later. Oh, I'm out here now. Oh well. I assume the tower room is pointless. Because it's just a weird... Oh yeah, I can't even go in there this time. Okay. I feel like the Emily plot point... The, the, the twins plot point is, is feeling weirdly, like, wasted now. I'm like, oh my god, it's gonna be a switcheroo where it's like, it was actually me, the other twin, and so at some point, or there's gonna be some twist there. But like... I think every character basically already knows that the that there's two Hillsboroughs at this point, and it never really came up in any con- oh, he's outside. It never really came up at any point, except for the only- the only surprise was the fact that I wasn't seeing a vision of the future, because I was watching the other twin get shot. Aside from making that one vision confusing, them being twins hasn't mattered ever. And now if everyone knows that they're twins, their chances of surprising and tricking anybody seems lower too. Your eminence. Ah, Louis. Well done, my son. You may well have saved our lives. Who knows what that madman was capable of? It was a reflex reaction. And modest as well. Sarah would be proud of you. <sighs> it's not going to help matters for Mortimer. Now he has one less vote for the conference. Always check, never be wrong. He's immune to erudition. I don't know about that, etiquette. Ah, I see his eminence is able to identify a good opportunity in every situation. Now what do you expect, Louis? The benefit of age. You'll see, you'll learn with time. Except if I find it disgusting. But, even with such a setback, I'd still be wary of Mortimer. 
I sense he has still a few surprises in store for us. Oh, I fully agree with you. I've been told about Washington. Congratulations, Louis. I must admit, though, when I first saw you, I would never have put money on you succeeding. Well, I was wrong. Thank you, your eminence. On that note, I shall leave you, Louis. I see you later. Adams's room. I mean, I don't really expect anything in here. Who's keeping it? Wait, wait, wait. Now I have to ask a question, you know? Who's keeping all these candles lit? Also, what's the risk of this whole place just burning down? Adams hasn't been here since episode one. Now we're on episode three. And at least two days have passed just this episode alone. I don't know how long candles last, but I wouldn't really bet on that. I already tried this, right? Yeah, I came in through Washington's apartment first, got to the balcony, and went to Volner's from there. The only other one on the side is Adams, so there's no real reason to keep going. Yeah, so we've been through all that. I tried Peru's room, but I have to go into... yeah. I can only get to the balcony if I access Bonaparte's room. No, because I tried Bonaparte's room, the door is locked. Uh, for some reason, the access to the balcony is closed, so you can't sneak in. And I can't go to Elizabeth's room at all. It's a bit frustrating, because I, I really thought that this would be setting up... Is that the library? That is the library. Oh. This door on the end of the hallway is access to the library. But it's, uh, the door is not interactive. But it, maybe it will be at some point. Right now we don't even have, like, the, the minus sign saying no. I'm a little disappointed. I thought the whole... Bonaparte outburst was set up for the idea that you could sneak in the back door and find out what's up with Peru But instead you just can't And it's just kind of a moot point I guess Can't go there, that's Piagi I think it is about time to go back to my room then I already tried going here, right? I tried Godoy But Godoy is meeting up with Holm if, if he's specifically uh, going out to meet up with home, then maybe I can go to wherever home is. Also, why can't I go in there now? I guess it's locked. I'm just thinking, like, if he abandoned his room, surely I can go, like, poking around. I can't go downstairs? Really? Yeah. Huh. Explanations are feeling strangely wasted now. That's odd. So, Napoleon... I'm reminded of Napoleon's balcony window, but that's not to set up the fact that I can sneak into the back way to get to Peru. And then I'm reminded of... of, of uh, Godoy going off to Holmes' meetings, but I can't... but I can't leave this floor. 